Hey everyone, hope well, you've had a, a nice weekend so far. I've been sunning myself. I hope you have too. Um, but, but I just thought I'd break off this evening just to show and unbox these View Espresso Cups. I seem to be filling my house up with boxes at the minute doing these videos. My wife's not very happy, so she, but she also wants to really use these cups. So she's, ben, she's been telling me to get them unboxed for a few days, so I'm going to do it for you now. We've got the Espresso Cups, the Cappuccino Cups, and we've also got the Lungo Cups. So what we're going to do, just get them out one by one. And then we're going to test them, well, I've got a few machines set up to test them to see how they fit in, whether they fit nicely. And then we're also going to make a coffee on each, and just so you can see what the coffee looks like inside of them. And for the cappuccino, we're also going to give a little special treat, because we've, one of the commenters the other day said, have you used the barista maker much yet? Have you made a flat white with it yet? And we had, so we're just going to use the barista maker to make a flat white to show you that as well. So let's get going. Firstly, we're going to unbox the espresso cups, and we're going to make an espresso on the virtual machine and also on the um, Ascenza Mini because obviously the creme is different on each machine isn't it uh, so will they fit the espresso nicely into both these are the sources if you look closely am I right in saying that that it's got more of a matte finish on one side than the other you can see it does show finger marks but this side is like more of a matte finish and this side is more of a shiny finish half and half then we've got the actual cups, so we get a nice look at those, we get a bit lower. And um, there's a little bit of Nespresso branding. Do you like the branding? Do you not like branding on the cups? I'll leave a little poll above, you can vote. And uh, we'll see, see what the uh, general opinion on that is. But they're two nice little cups, aren't they? Um, so what I'm going to do now, we'll start off with the, well, I'll do the Virtuo. And if, we'll sit there. So that's how they fit on normally, but the shelf's way down at the bottom at the minute, isn't it? So if I move the shelf up right to the top setting, if I can get it to stick, and that'll fit nicely in there. So we'll make a quick espresso. And while I'm doing that, my wife will just set up the um, Ascenza Mini to be making an espresso with an original capsule. It's warmed up nicely now, so we'll set it off and we'll see how the espresso looks in the cup. While we're doing that, I'll just look at the um, pricing information on them as well. So my wife's just also setting the lamp. So we're going to make an original one as well. I'm just um, hopping. I should have done this earlier, really. But just hopping onto the Nespresso app. See if they're in stock at the moment as well. Right, so the espresso cups are 16 pounds, that's the ones we're using right now. And the Lungo and Cappuccino that we're going to be using in a bit, they're 19 pounds. So we can see there's a big difference in the crema, if we just leave that there. Big difference in the crema between the Virtuo and the, um, although this one is more classed, a lot of people say this is foam. I know I say that a lot, but if this is your first video, then you'll want to know. This isn't, I prefer the crema on the original capsules myself. But we can see there's a big difference, but the main thing, it fits in. It doesn't overflow. So that's the first one. That's um, the first thing. And then what we'll do, we'll just take one of the cups now. We'll try it on the Pixie, see how it fits on there nicely. Obviously, you can, I don't think you can adjust the shelf. I haven't gone to town with the Pixie yet. I don't think you can adjust the shelf on that one. Um, but, it, you know, it's standing, it's sitting high enough to not make a mess, isn't it? And then we've got the Satis. It fits nice on there as well. And one thing I just wanted to do quickly, while we've got that out, is just to show you if, them side by side. That's the pure, or they're the pure, not pure origin, pure collection espresso cups. And um, so that's the difference between those in case you're looking at both thinking which one do I want to buy there from the espresso as well. We have a review on our site of those, an unboxing and a review. So I'll link to that above now. Be sure to check that one out. Actually, just quickly, one thing I forgot, it'd be nice to look at them side by side, wouldn't it? And also the dimensions, the height is 63mm high, the diameter is 60mm across, um, and the saucer diameter is 118mm. Um, so that's them side by side, uh, made of tempered glass, so that if it smashes, it's not going to, you know, it's, it, shatter, it shatters in a different way that's safer, and it's also more difficult to break as well. And the saucers, they're stainless steel, uh, with a shiny brush, brushed, shiny brushed 
finished. Um, so yeah, that's what they're made of. And oh, obviously, I won't repeat that for all of them. I'll, I'll, re I'll say the dimensions for the Lungo and the Cappuccino, uh, but I won't repeat what they're made of for every single one because they're all the same. Uh, the reason we're testing it out in all the cups, by the way, uh, with all the machines, is just because when my mum, she was buying some, uh, when I first started doing these videos, my mum actually was buying some um, espresso cups for her husband. Uh, and she was saying, I, I just don't know what they do, Adam. I don't know whether they fit my machine. I'm not sure which ones to buy. Are they going to look good? Are they going to fit? So I thought I'd show it on a few different machines just to give you an idea of whether it's going to fit your machine. So what I'll do now, we'll crack on with the Lungo, actually. Um, and we'll make the Lungos. And then at the end, we'll make the Cappuccino with the barista maker in the Cappuccino cups. So we'll now move on to the Lungo cups. And the capacity of these is listed at 180 millilitres capacity. Now, yeah, if you start opening those up now. Um, so obviously we've got 110 mil Lungo on the original machine, which we're going to use the Pixie on to see if they fit under it and to see if the shelf will topple the glass over or not when you're using it. Um, but will it fit a 150 mil Virtuo Grand Lungo? We're going to try that. Hopefully it won't overflow. I've never tried it. That was, we saw how thick the crema was when we did the espresso glasses. And um, so hopefully it's not going to overflow and cause a problem. But it's, I just think these are questions that people might ask and might want answered. So these are the Lungo cups. If I'm being honest, I expected, I don't know why I expected them to be taller. It's not a massive drink, is it? 110, 150. But I, I think I expected a taller, skinnier effect. And I actually, I think if we just, um, at the end, I'll put them all side by side. I'll put the all three cups side by side. Um, just so you can see the differences between them. And also, don't forget when you unbox them, we're not going to be drinking the drinks we're making in these ones. We will wash the cappuccino ones when we make the barista uh, flat white, because my wife wants to drink that. But these are just for demonstration purposes, so we're not washing them out in, uh, straight away. But make sure you do when you unbox yours, because there might be some chemical residue, residue. We don't want that in the coffee, do we? So we're going to start now. We'll start with a, a standard uh, Lungo capsule. Does it fit in the pixie? It does nicely, so there's no need to worry about your shelf. And we'll just open that one up. We'll be um, doing a few more videos with the Pixie, I've only just got it, and we'll be showing you a bit more about that soon, so you should subscribe if you want to know more about the different machines. It's the standard logo. And actually, I'll just set this other one going now. See if the grand logo fits from the virtual. I'll just move back over there. So that's how it looks for a standard original Lungo capsule, 110 mil. Looks really nice, doesn't it? It does better. I do like these see-through cups. I, mean, I didn't really like them when I first got the machines. I didn't think I wanted them. And I'm surprised, actually, how much I also like uh, these little silver saucers because I thought I wouldn't like those. And they are quite... When you see them in, in person and you see the matte effect and the split down the middle, it looks really nice. Yeah. But will it fit this grand lungo capsule for the virtual machine? That's what we want to find out. It's not my pink foam over there, by the way, it's my wife's. So we can see the difference in the crema. If I just pull this um, standard lungo over, you can really see the difference between. I hope it doesn't overflow, I really do. It's going to be a disaster if it looks like it might, you know. I think if it does, this is a really important lesson for virtual owners. Yeah, do not buy Lungo Cups, the Adran Lungo Capsules, unless you're very good at balancing a cup when you're taking it to your mouth for the first time. I mean, to be fair, it hasn't overflowed, but I wouldn't want to try and drink that without spilling it everywhere. Yeah. So that's them side by side. We'll put them side by side on the sauces now. It is actually, it's dripping down the back a little bit, but you just don't want, you're not going to want to do that. You're going to have to have a different cup for a Grand Lungo. But they do a virtual collection, so that's probably bigger anyway, and that's why they do a virtual collection. Um, I might have to try and get hold of some of them, look at the differences between them. And um, so that's the Lungo cup. Well, I don't think there's anything more to say on that, is there? 
the dimensions Let's see if I can find those yeah the dimensions height 75 millimeters diameter so the, across here 74 millimeters and source of diameter again well I don't know if it's again or it's if it's bigger than the espresso 146 millimeters so I think that's bigger and um, so that's we'll move on to the cappuccino cups now and we'll make a cappuccino with a barista maker so you can see how that works and how get your first glimpse of that if you've not seen that before right so this is the barista maker we're talking about we're going to use these um, we're going to make a flat wire in these cappuccino cups but we'll take that away for a minute to give us some room while we just unbox these cappuccino view cups from Nespresso and um, so just a little reminder while my wife's unboxing those they are £19 um, if you have a 20% discount if you're an expert or ambassador member then obviously you get the £20 off 20% um, off that uh, but the same as the Lungo cups £19 each so you can see they're a bit wider I think than the Lungo cups so the, the Lungo cups are taller they've got that same half and half brush finish and stainless steel These ones are 63 millimeters high, 85 millimeters diameter, and 146, which is I think is bigger again than the Lungo, I'm not sure, maybe not. 146 millimeter saucer diameter. Um, so what we'll do now, we'll wash these out because we're gonna be drinking the coffee out of them afterwards. Um, and we'll make the cappuccino in them from the barista maker. We'll get that set up and we'll be back in a minute. Right, so we've washed out the cappuccino cups. We're just gonna quickly show you them again in the machines just so you know they fit your machine, we try the settees, nicely fits, in the Pipsy, nicely fits, it sends a mini and the virtual plus but again we can raise the shelf if we need to, um, so they fit all the machines and we're now just going to make a flat wire so you can see how the coffee looks, so for this we need um, one ristretto capsule, we're still getting used to this barista maker by the way, it's uh, still in the process of learning how to make all the drinks but we've got the um, one ristretto capsule, 100 ml of cold milk and you just need your device, a cappuccino cup, barista spoon, although you don't really need that if you just pour it over at the end um, and obviously a coffee machine. So 100, no sorry not 100 ml, 40 ml espresso ristretto capsule. That goes straight into the cup with this one. My wife's made one of these, does that come out of the cup or? Does it stay in the cup? The it stays in the cup. Stays in the cup. Some of them, they actually pour the, estre the, the espresso into the barista maker and it mixes it all together. But with the flat wire, we're keeping it in the cup. Just press the button. I hope it hasn't been a bit too much information in this video. I wasn't sure what to do, whether to just unbox them individually, so that in case you were just looking at one specific one. But then I thought, well, do we, are we going to get all the information we need from that or not? Or is it better to just do one big video where I show you them in all the machines as well, answering my mum's question about whether they fit the machines nicely, and then we get to have a little glimpse of the barista maker as well. I just thought in this occasion I'll just do it all together um, and hopefully it works well and hopefully you've liked it. If you have, be sure to subscribe to the channel and we do some more videos and we do do shorter ones as well. This, this one just, personally I felt warranted a real good session. So Barista Maker is £179. I got that in a deal recently where I got 50% off of it, but I had to buy 500 capsules to do it. Um, so if you want to see that video where I tell you more about that, I'll link to it above now, the offer deal. Well, I won't actually because it, it'll be gone soon, but you can go back through our channel page and have a look at that one, just in case that's of interest to you. So it's frothing up the semi-skim milk now, the Barista Maker. Possibly might have been better to brew the coffee a little bit later so it stays nice and hot, but we'll remember that one for next time. So it's just finishing off frothing up the milk. <laughs> Again, sounds like it's going to take off. In fact, in this hot weather, I've been thinking I should try and make some of the iced recipes in this and see how they come out because it could be really refreshing, couldn't they? Yeah, 
Oh, did you remember? It? Did he make that same noise last time? Yes, yeah, so he's made the same noise last time. It's not, I thought he might have put the string in wrong or something, but uh, it's made the same noise as it did last time. It made the flat white. So this just lifts out. You just pull your feet, pour, put your finger on top so the spring doesn't drop out. Pour the foam milk in, the froth milk. And there's a nice flat white there, made in the cappuccino view espresso cups. Yep, just one final thing before I forget, the three cups side by side, the cups and saucers, as we can see, it might, might make you want the whole set, I don't know, uh, but these are slightly taller, the Lungo ones, than the cappuccino ones, and um, the saucer sizes are, are the same on both, um, so just in case maybe, I don't know, if you get hold of some cups without the saucers and you already have the Lungo saucers, maybe you could uh, save a bit of money there, I don't know how, but maybe, um, and then the small little Diddy uh, espresso cups. So that's them side by side. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any more questions that I haven't covered, uh, please leave a comment. Please like the video if it's been helpful to you. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more future videos and hit that notification bell so that you can just watch them on your phone as soon as they pop up and you won't miss any good deals or any uh, new unboxings or anything like that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.